This module is about creating a digital file cabinet. And I'm going to walk you through the steps of setting up a filing system that will help you save hours and hours and hours of time. Um, a system that will be uh, flexible, customized to what your needs are, but help you to develop a way to place to put all your files and folders and, and an organized system that you can share with other people and you will never lose anything again if you use the system. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. Let's have some fun. Wrote the book on it. Now, just because I wrote the book on it doesn't mean I always follow my own advice. I will tell you that I got a little lazy in a project I was on recently and my desktop is has icons on it, quite a few, and that's very unlike me. But it's fun to say I wrote the book on it. So I wrote the book on it. Don't always read my own book. And in this, in this book, it will go into much more detail than we'll go into this module. So if this is an area that you really need, might need some advanced help on, you might want to zip over to Amazon and pick up a copy. This will be the kind of the cliff notes or the overview for you. So let's conquer your info clutter. First of all, I call it a digital file cabinet. So I want you to think about the visual of a file cabinet with four or five drawers. No more. You can only have four or five big containers, big files. And underneath that, I'm not going to limit you. I'm only going to limit you when you open up my documents that though there are four or five folders there. Then there's subfolders and subfolders with below that. So let's just stop for a minute. Uh, take a pen and paper if needed and go ahead and pause me and jot what you think based on what you do for your job. What are your four or five main containers? And at the main level, I don't suggest that you put a school year. Like for example, if, you, if one of yours is a communication folder, underneath communication, you might want to put like letters of recommendation, parent communication, and then within there, you might want to put a school year because you want to be able to repurpose as many as of your documents as you can year to year. So you don't want at one level just to put this at the top level to put this the school year. You want that to be drilled down a little bit. So pause me and brainstorm your four or five main folders. Okay, welcome back. I made a file cabinet. I used to teach elementary, so I made one as if I was an elementary teacher. And yours could be very different, but just really limiting those four or five on the um, main level. So let's go. When you teach elementary, you obviously teach everything. So one folder would be content areas. Anything related to any subject area is going to all fit nicely underneath the content areas. Where it gets a little difficult is if you do interdisciplinary things and you go, oh, is this math or is this reading? You're going to have to come up with a system for those kind of things. Like when I taught second grade, we did a fairy tale unit that had lots of math and social studies all embedded. But we as a second grade team decided to keep everything tied to fairy tales in the fairy tales folder. And that really, even if it was a math or science, it really helped us kind of be collect all our resources that we had and decided where we want to keep those. So content area is one, and you can see I've, done, I've, I've broken that one down. And then I chose communication, professional, I serve on a lot of committees, and then any clubs or coaching or things like that. Now underneath communication, I could definitely see parent communication, um, staff communication, under communication I'd have a folder for my administrator for the Friday facts or whatever, whatever, whatever. All, everybody is going to have a different filing cabinet, but this is the bones of it. So let's go ahead and start our file cabinet. You brainstorm your four or five. Now let's get down to the business of making this. If you're on a PC, you can right click, make new folder. On a Mac, that little gear looking thing in the upper right, um, it, one of the choices is make new folder. Label your new folder, and once you make the folder, it's, don't just call it folder, okay? Make sure you, you label it. Okay, so make your folder and then repeat the process and make the four or five main folders. Next thing we do is we open up the content area folder. So double click on the content folders and content areas and it will be empty right now because you haven't added any folders in there yet. 
So now let's go ahead and add the main content areas of language arts, math, science, and social studies. So just like you did before, right click, make new folder, label them, label them. Okay, now let's go into language arts. Let's drill down even farther because there's so much in language arts. Language arts, we could have reading, we could have writing. You might even want to break it down even farther into spelling, grammar, whatever is comfortable for you. So again, you're continuing that right click and create folder. Okay, and there's also a button over to the left usually that says make new folder. And so well, however you want to do it, you want to build the system. So I always recommend build the system first and then worry about moving the junk after that. So get the system, then we'll clean everything else up. There's all different views, and a lot of people don't realize this. The views are across the top. You can have icon views, detail views. Um, this one is, I'm not sure what this is, but um, this is one of the views. I'm not sure what it's called. But you can see this is now my reading folder. I taught Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. There's the fairy tale folder I told you about. And then uh, Frog and Toad. So those are folders that are nested underneath the reading. So think how I would get to them. I would go, oh, we don't look at our mess yet. I would get to them by going to content areas, then language arts, reading, and when I opened up reading, these would be the folders that would be in there. So the system, the key to this entire system, the whole creating your digital file cabinet, the, the key is there's only one place, one place only for all your information. It's not one of those, ooh, could it be over here or could it be over there? No, one place only. Okay, once you build your system, start and stop me as you need to, but once you build your system, now we're ready to tackle the info clutter. All right, mm -hmm. I told you I wrote a book on it, but uh, don't always organize everything the way it is. This is actually one of my flash drives, and um, yeah, it's a mess. So now we need to get all of these things. We get two choices. We're going to file them in the file cabinet, or we're going to throw them away because we don't need them. Well, I guess there's a third choice. Archive them. That might be that you put them all in an archive folder, and you're going to move that off your computer. It's like stuff you don't need. Um, so let's go ahead and organize this mess. Oh, let's go here. So the couple ways you can do this. What you don't want to do is get into a copy a paste, and then I'll go back and delete it. You're never going to remember to go back and delete it, so you're going to end up with two of them. And so you don't want to do that. We really want to right-click on these documents and cut them, open up your new system, and paste them. It's not as scary as it sounds. Right-click, cut, 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 not copy. Cut, open, and paste. Now let's say that you have four or five in a row. You can press the shift key, click on the first one, click on the last one, and now they're all in one group. Now you can cut the entire group and paste it over into your new digital file cabinet. You can also drag and drop. So you can drag from one window to the next. You can do that. And what unfortunately you're going to discover at this moment is you need the next module that's coming on naming files. I can look closely at these and go, oh, Meg. What were you thinking? And um, I didn't label these very well. Like, I'm looking at Chapter 8, Chapter 11, Chapter 9. Hmm, I wonder which one of my books that is. So, very poor naming. Thank you, wrote the book on it. But um, p bad naming in this case, and very disorganized. And so, when, when you get to the next module, you'll learn more about tips and tricks for naming your files. So, a good name, you don't have to open it, but unfortunately I'm going to guess that you may have to open your documents, see what they are, do you still need them, throw them away. Um, depending on how long you've been teaching, you might have a lot to clean up. And the real basis of this real bulletproof digital file cabinet is that there's only one system. I got an email. I wish I'd saved it. I can't find it. I got an email from a, a, an assistant superintendent for curriculum that it followed up after one of my sessions and I taught her how to do this. I, you've changed my life. It was something like that. You've changed my life. I, I know where everything is. I can find things. And she was so relieved because she was so buried with so much, um, a little here, a little there. And that happens to everybody. So start the cleanup. Once the cleanup 
has commenced. It's completely done. You have your four or five folders. Nothing's hanging around. You feel really good about yourself. You really want to make sure that you back everything up. And I have an entire module about backing up your data because it is so important. Use an external hard drive, use the server at school, use a flash drive, but you want to make sure that you back things up. Now you can back things up when they're all clutter and, and it's a mess, but you don't want to do that. You really want to uh, clean everything up and then back everything up because it's just, it'll be so much better. And you need to be more organized today than ever because we're moving to what's considered cloud computing. And I have a module on that. But do you do not want to take your mess of 10, 15 years and move it all to the cloud? You need to have a cleanup party here. So it's time for your cleanup party. You first start by making your digital file cabinet. Then you're going to start cutting and pasting things. You're going to throw things you don't need away. Archive things you don't need by making an archive folder and moving it out of day-to-day -day operations. And then you're going to make sure that you back everything up. So let's start today. I think I need to make a, this is my goal also. Start today creating the system and filing the system. And every single time you save a document, it's not save and I'll put it on the desktop and I'll clean it up later. We're in education. There's never a later. So you want to make sure that you save Every time you save, you immediately navigate to the folder within the folder and put it in the right place at the moment of saving. There's no going back later. So start today, and I know you'll save hours of time. Thanks for joining me.